Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris Rizzi, of course, and Mikey Osto here. And today we have another Assassin's Creed custom interview showcase. Oh yeah! So today we have Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Let's go ahead and take a look at this minifigure, shall we? Alright, so here we go, Ezio from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Now all of this minifigure is painted except for the face, which I actually did paint a little bit, but not a lot. So anyways, here we go. Start off with his legs, as you can see here, he's got these uh, brown boots on, which continue on to the back. Just a little bit. And he's got these uh, two red uh, rectangle thingies right here, uh, which, I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, the legs, the base of these were whites. I didn't paint on the whites except for the uh, whites at the top right here. You can kind of see it's a slightly different shade of white. It's kind of a brighter white. Right here, as you can see, here is the uh, torso. Uh, whoops, hold on, uh, focus there. You can see here the torso is a uh, has the red belt on there with uh, these brown details right here, as well as the assassin logo right there, the assassin emblem, and that continues on to the back. Not much detailing on the back since it's covered up by a cape. We'll get to that in a moment. And here is his torso. I'm going to remove the hood uh, very carefully so you can get a better look at the torso. There you go. As you see here, he's got this line right here which connects up to here, which is part of his cape. It's like a little armor piece and then also the cape right there. Because, you know, I guess it's just part of the armor piece. Uh, but, you've also got this collar right here with red, and you've also got some detailing in here with a uh, shade of white gray. On the side, he's got his two hidden blades. On this side, he's got the armor piece from uh, on his torso. This side, he does not have any armor, piecing, uh, armor pieces. And here's the cape. I painted both sides of these. Originally, I, this was a white cape, but unfortunately the red bleed uh, bled into the uh, other side, so you can kind of just see it's just red on both sides pretty much. So I had to go back and paint the white in. But I feel like uh, it looks better with uh, it painted instead of it just being plain. So there you go. And here is his head. Or uh, before, his hands are just uh, flesh color. Alright, so here's his head. This is a uh, piece from uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, it's from Norrington, and uh, as you see here, I had to uh, paint out his beard a little bit. I already uh, removed his beard a little bit, but then I had to paint it out some more. I also gave uh, Ezio his scar right there. I feel like this looks uh, a lot like Ezio from uh, the game. And then here is his hood. This is here, I cut off this part right here, this bottom piece, and I added this on with clay. I painted the whole thing, and then looks like this. And there you go. That was Ezio from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, next time, the next Assassin's Creed custom that I'll be doing is Yusuf from Assassin's Creed Revelations, as well as Ezio from Assassin's Creed Re Revelations. It'll be the final SEO minifigure that I make out of this series. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!